Hi everyone, my name is Denise Lee from Business Ed with Denise Lee and I sell on TPT. I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself and I wanted to answer some of your great questions about a few of my products. Um, I have taught at the same high school for over 20 years. It's the high school that I graduated from and I have taught just about every business education class from accounting, entrepreneurship, marketing, um, and some computer application classes as well. Um, I enjoy teaching accounting so much, and I have a passion and a love for the subject. I was frustrated back in the late 90s when I started teaching, and my students did not share that passion. Um, quite frankly, they didn't even want to pay attention to me. Uh, they, I had a hard time getting them to take notes, and um, that was very frustrating for me as a new teacher. So throughout the 20 years, I've developed a system that works and gets them engaged and really helps them to understand the concepts in accounting. Um, it's not only sometimes a dry, drab subject, it isn't the easiest to understand. And so let me show you a little bit about what I have. Um, in this product, uh, the Accounting Interactive Snip Note System, it is an interactive system. Um, some of the questions that you asked is, what textbook do I use? Listen, accounting is accounting. Debits are credits, are debits and credits in every textbook. I do use Century 21, Cengage uh, 10th edition. Um, I actually love our textbook. My students don't love any textbook. So this portfolio has actually um, been a great companion to my textbook. I do use our textbook. I also use the online working papers. Um, I use the great PowerPoints that come uh, with all the tools that the textbook has to offer. I think that we need to use everything that is at our fingertips in order to get our students engaged. Um, this is just another tool that I found that have been, it's been very effective in teaching young people about accounting. So you get the full eight and a half by 11 graphic organizers of the t over 20 graphic organizers that are important uh, big ideas in accounting class. So what I do is I prepare this in a binder for my students or I have them put them in a folder with butterfly clips and um, I have a cover here for you and they are all of the essential information in graphic organizers. My students complete these notes pages as I am teaching. Um, now, I'm an advocate in having my students put their pencils down. Uh, one thing that I say all the time in class is pencils down, zips lips, zip your lips, phones put away, and all eyes on me because I don't want them taking notes. Sometimes I just want them listening to me and I want them really grasping the concepts. Then I'll say, no, pick up your pencils and write this down. And I offer you also the teacher notes. Um, so that you can get a little bit in my brain. I know that you know accounting, but I've created these graphic organizers with little snippets and little sticky notes and little bubbles. And um, you may be thinking, what in the world does she want us to put in this, this cell? So that's why I put my teacher notes in here for you as well. So I teach, they do the eight and a half by 11 graphic organizers. After they complete a graphic organizer, um, I then have a matching snip note for it. And these are usually a quarter of a page. Some of these snip notes are a little bit smaller than a quarter of a page, um, and they are in their portfolio. Uh, the snip notes are done usually as bell ringers. Sometimes they're done as exit tickets. Uh, sometimes I do them on Fridays. It just depends on how the week went. Um, sometimes we have those pep rallies on Friday and we have extra time in some periods and we're lacking time in others. And that's a great time to say, okay, we covered these two um, concepts in class. I want you to get out these snip notes and put them in your portfolio. A little bit about the snip notes. I cut them for my students and I have full sets of snip notes ready for my students at the beginning of every course. Um, I use tape. I use the really good scotch tape. Um, I do not glue these in and each student gets a roll of tape. They also have a highlighter. They also have gel pens. Sometimes I have markers on the table, um, scissors, because even though I cut these for them, they may want to cut a little bit tighter. This is, um, it seems like everyone's preferred way of putting these in a portfolio is my my hanging file folder system. And I have to tell you the truth about this. 
When I was hired 20 some years ago, the teacher that I replaced that retired was my high school teacher. She accidentally purchased cases of hanging file folders that were legal sized hanging file folders. And they were around for a few years until I decided that I wanted to use those in maybe a creative way. Now I have a degree in uh, art. I have a degree in art and design. I am an art teacher. And what I did was I took these legal size hanging file folders and I took these metal strips out of the hanging file folders. And if you jiggle, of course they're not gonna come off very easily for me here. If you jiggle the hanging file folder, metal strip, they come right out. And I open it up. Of course this bottom one doesn't wanna come out for me very easily. You pull those out. I put it about three quarters of the way up and then I fold it over. The reason I used the legal size, well the reason I started was because I needed to get rid of them because they didn't fit in a contemporary file folder, file cabinet, excuse me. Um, but it gives you a lot more real estate than perhaps a regular hanging file folder. This is a regular size hanging file folder and this is a legal size and it really gives you this much more real estate. So they worked out great for my purpose. You also get this clip art uh, with your stick notes and it's like a little um, flap on a portfolio and you get two different sizes. I laminate these, I have my students crease them and then alongside of the top, flapping over generously on the back, we affix this to the legal size and that is our portfolio. Now, my students love the Velcro dots, so I buy Velcro dots to put on this file folder as well. And this is their portfolio. One thing that I am an advocate of is that I have a professional atmosphere in my business classroom. So creating professional portfolios in accounting class goes with that theme. And my students really love it. Even um, the students that you think might not get excited about using gel pens to fill in or graphic organizers, they jump on the bandwagon and you'll find that they'll have the most colorful snip note portfolios. I also use this system, the students actually get to pick. I give you some cute little stickers that are accounting stickers for students to personalize their SIP notes. But this is like a lap book that they use in elementary school. This is actually the first um, that I started doing. Uh, the reason that um, I like this system as well, and again, students can choose, is because I have my accounting equation up here, which is really, you know, um, the epicenter of the whole concept of big ideas, and then there are assets, liabilities, owners, equity. This is my accounting cycle, and you can put as many snip notes in as many layers, and you can even put notes on the back um, if you, there's some vocabulary that you want your students to um, really know and, and really have them sink into their heads. Um, this is types of businesses, types of business ownership, so some business essentials on this side purposes of accounting. Hey, listen folks, this is not in the textbook, but I think it's really important at the beginning of an accounting course for the kids to know why you're taking accounting. So these are the five purposes of accounting, uh, which I have found has been very, very informational for my students. Um, this particular one talks about managerial and financial accounting, and then I incorporate the big four. I think I, I want my students to know the big four accounting firms are, and where they're headquartered, and a little bit about um, really uh, accounting as a career. So really this entire section is on the business essentials. I also incorporate some word walls on uh, the portfolios. The word walls are ways that the students can be creative, created, creative in um, writing down, jotting down their accounting. Some of them make them look like graffiti, but the way our brain works is that when we write something consistently, we remember it better. So that's why I'm an advocate in word walls and my students to write down their words. On this side, I have the accounting concepts. And um, as I'm talking about accounting concepts, I will actually have students move uh, paper clips 
to that accounting concept so that they can um, identify for me what accounting concept am I talking about here. Get your paper clip out and put it there. They even have little parking garages. Some of them put their, their um, colored paper clips on. And again, I have a word wall system. Now any extra snip notes we sometimes put on the back uh, just for reiteration or things that they really want to um, remember and reinforce themselves. They go and they get some extra snip notes. I have them in the, in the front of the classroom uh, so that they can help themselves for any concepts that they know that they need to grasp or they need to work on. Um, in this portfolio, I have all of my snip notes as well. And um, I have my accounting equation up here. These are business essentials. These are debits, credits, the accounting cycle. And I actually give you a map in uh, the product as well so that it will help you uh, identify areas. But I highly recommend the best way to use the snip note system is to put one together yourself. You are in charge of your classroom. Um, you are the queen or the king of your classroom. And you should be running it uh, the way that you want so you know how you want your students to um, put these in the portfolio one other really really good question you have been asking is um, do I have the students put all of these in the portfolio at one time over half of them I have them affixed to their portfolio and about eight of them, I have them set aside for later. And those are special journals and um, LIFO, FIFO, weighted average, inventory valuation, and so forth uh, are later on in the course. So we put those away in an envelope and we tackle those a little bit later. Um, this really lasts me the entire course. And one thing that I started uh, a few years ago that I love um, as bell ringers, again, or exit tickets, are uh, these little gems right here. You get this with the product as well. Um, on the back of my students' types of businesses SIP note, they were prompted to give me three examples of each business that your family patronizes. So they have to write those on the back of the SIP notes. So it gets them thinking about what we talked about in class and um, it makes it more relevant to them. And I think it's unbelievably important, especially in uh, this day and age with this generation, that our students know the relevance of what they're learning in the classroom. Um, I'm very excited that I'm able to share this with you. I was a little reluctant to start teaching on Teachers Pay, start selling, excuse me, on Teachers Pay Teachers, um, but a good friend of mine encouraged me to do so, and um, she was impressed uh, with my um, snip note systems. I have these for accounting, marketing, business essentials, and business law, which is another passion of mine. Uh, business law was another subject that I was struggling to get students to um, be engaged. So um, creating these systems have really revolutionized my classroom. Students love to be able to put together a formal portfolio and do it in a very creative way. I so appreciate you listening. It was great meeting all of you. Um, it's great to know as the only teacher, business teacher in my school district, that there are many of you out there. Um, have an absolutely wonderful school year. Leave some comments below. I will also attach the link to my TPT store and a link to the Snip Note products. Again, thank you very much for listening.